It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. U.S. Cellular is here to help you spread some holiday cheer. This is David Harrison of the Locked On Commanders Podcast, and U.S. Cellular wants to help everyone get the gift of connection this holiday season. Already a customer? This applies to you, too. Because right now, new and current customers can get any phone, and I mean any phone, for free. Yes, really, for free. Sounds like it's time to make the switch. Spread holiday cheer far and wide this season with a new phone. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. Heads are rolling in the NHL, and that's why you are tuned in, tapped in to the Tuesday episode of your source for fantasy hockey news. It's the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. The Ottawa Senators are sinking fast. DJ Smith is out. What does it mean for their fantasy pieces? Aiden Hill is out. Nathan McKinnon on a heater. And all of the things you need to know in between. Let's get this paper. Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey, your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome back, everybody, inside the lab to the Tuesday episode of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. And I am joined, as always, by my esteemed co-host, Mr. Steele Roden. And on this side of the microphone, it's your boy, Big Flip Livingstone. Thank you sincerely every single day for making us your first listen. We see and appreciate you. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on YouTube. And we love all the feedback. Drop us that five-star review, Spotify, Apple, wherever you're at. It means a lot. We appreciate it. Today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On NHL for twenty bucks off your first purchase. Steel, my brother, there is some things happening in the NHL. Some good, some not so good. Obviously, the Ottawa Senators are on the side of not so good. And you and I come on here and give out a lot of predictions, previews, and everything in between. The Ottawa Senators, at least for myself, and I'm going to turn this over to you, were a team that I thought. We're going to be a whole lot better. So DJ Smith, he's out. Jacques Martin, he's going to be the interim. Let's talk about that right off the jump. But also, Aiden Hill has been a number one goalie now for about a year, let's say a season, takes the team to the cup. He's very fantasy relevant. He comes back. He gets hurt again. We're going to talk about it. Nathan McKinnon on a heater, 15-game point streak. Is his fantasy ceiling still rising, though, Steele? I want to talk about that. And, of course, Tuesday's big-time bets. I'm going to ferme la bouche. Turn it right over to you. DJ Smith, he's out. The writing's been on the wall, Steele. And Lauer, the owner, putting in his own people, Steve Steos and otherwise. You could see this one coming. Kind of surprised it took this long. Uh, yeah, it's about damn time that this mm-hmm. that DJ Smith got fired. Like, I... I would have been surprised if he was still here by the end of the regular season. So it's about damn time because this Ottawa Senators team for a lot of us, like yourself included, we thought they were going to be a lot better. And I'm not surprised by this decision to fire him at all from this organization. This was his fifth season as the head coach for the Ottawa Senators. Below 500 win percentage team, four out of the five seasons he was head coach. You've missed the playoffs every single season behind the bench as well. And I understand, you know, They were still in the process of rebuilding and drafting the star players that they now have today. Only one season were they above 500, and that was last year where they actually showed a little bit of promise and only missed the playoffs by six Mm. points. You show promise heading into the next season with your stars, prospects, trades that you made uh, the year prior, signings you made in the offseason, and then you go back to being a below 500 team, start the year off 11 and 15 dead last in the Eastern Conference. And obviously something's got to change at this time. And this time it does fall on the head coach. There's a lot of times where we discuss, you know, where it should, should it go on the GM's head? Should it be on the players? Is it the player's Mm -hmm. shoulders fault? Um, Yeah. This is one of those times where it is the head coach because you have the star players. You've added key pieces on the blue line to your bottom six. Right. You know, sign Jonas Corposalo. He hasn't played great, but you sign him for a five year or a four year, five year deal. Um, 
and it's just not working right now. So this is the time that you got to fire the head coach because I'm not ready to write off the Ottawa Senators for the entire season. They have as much as six games in hand on some teams in their conference. So I'm not going to say that they can't do something, but if they're going to have any chance to climb up the standings and get back into the playoff race, they got to start winning games now. The games in hand are also shrinking on a number of teams. Like Toronto has only played 28 games as well. So I, the point definitely still holds, and I'm with you on the fact of not writing them off wholeheartedly. Don't disagree at all. Because when you look at all the offensive talent, Steel, look, this team has enough offensive firepower, seemingly on paper at least, for two top lines. Drake Batherson, Vladimir Tarasenko, Josh Norris, We know Timmy Stutz and Brady Kachuk lead this team. Those are a lot of really good, aside from fantasy pieces, just on paper, really good players. And maybe this signing gives a bump to some of those guys like, you know, Josh Norris, I know, uh, nine goals, seven assists, not terrible. But I think he has so much more capability. And maybe this firing lights a little bit of a, fire under some of these players steal you've seen it right away with Craig Berube's firing with Jordan Kyra yeah so obviously this is you mentioned sometimes this falls on players I usually tend to think it is the players that should yeah, be responsible same. but in this case they have the pieces quote unquote Jonas Corposalo can be a goalie to take you on a run he hasn't looked like it they have a blue line when it's healthy I think that's more than good enough to take a team on a run and of course we've talked all about Giroux in the mix up front as well. And all of the names I just mentioned, disappointing up and down. I wanted to bring up uh, DJ Smith's record as well as a head coach, 131, 154 and 32 in 317 regular season games is just not going to be good enough steal, but fantasy takeaway. And we can just leave it at this because clearly the team has underperformed both goalies because we liked, and I know I'll speak for myself, but I think you would agree. Last year, Anton Forsberg, before getting hurt, even the year before, very capable secondary option, a good fantasy flyer week to week. Both of them need to be better. Maybe this lights a fire under those two and lights a fire under the struggling pieces. By the way, please go ahead. I will say this, though, going back to last season, I know he was injured a lot, but Cam Talbot was above 500 win percentage, 17, Whoa. 14, and 3. And look what he's doing now Whoa. in LA. I know it's a little bit of a better team, nope, better nope, situation I like it. there. But like he's it. doing great right now in Steel. L.A. And, uh, so I just had to throw that out there because he's my boy. <laughs> that is a very good point, however, because we were looking at the L.A. Kings in the offseason yeah. going, were you sure about this move, bringing in Cam Talbot and Corposalo going out? And look at how it's panned out for both teams. Anyhow, I'll just also leave it at this. There were a lot of Twitter warriors out there over the last season or two, Steel, <laughs> specifically from that Ottawa region and this fan base. And I just want to point out, that maybe those in glass houses shall not throw stones, if you know what I'm saying. Because also, bringing up the stats, steal, this club hasn't qualified for the postseason since 2017. There were some fans in Ottawa ready to plan that parade, and I know that's a Toronto thing. I was here in Stanley Cup. I was here in deep playoff run. You might be the worst team in the NHL this year, and there's the San Jose Sharks and Chicago Blackhawks out there. So maybe keep it tapped up top. You're going to keep it tapped for the rest of the episode. We're going to talk Aiden Hill very quickly. I'm excited to talk about Nathan McKinnon steel because I think this is a player, considering the echelon he's in, fantasy or otherwise, you and I haven't talked a ton about him, so we'll break that down. Big-time bets for Tuesday, of course, but today's episode is brought to you by FanDuel. As the weather gets colder, the NFL offers stay hot on FanDuel. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. That's $150 if your team hits. And if you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, there's no better time to get in on the action than right now. The app is easy to use. Steel and I are loving it. And there's a wide range of betting options to choose from. Spreads, player props, over, under, Steel and I loving the same game parlay. Tease the bets, which I have one for Tuesday night. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and kick off the NFL season. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. Hey everyone, Chris from Locked On Avalanche here. If you like using debit over credit, I just learned about something that's definitely a game changer. Discover Cashback Debit. It's a checking account that rewards everyone with cash back on everyday purchases which means you can get cash back on NHL tickets or head-to-toe hockey gear to make this season a total win. 
Check out eligibility and terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank, member FDIC. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Big news continues out of Locked On Podcast Network. They've launched the first ever national sports 24-7 stream, streaming channel on YouTube. It's been up for over a month now. Locked On Sports Today is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day from local experts of Locked On, plus the national shows covering every single league. So go to Locked On Sports Today on YouTube and subscribe to the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. And thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode with Flip and I making it your first listen every day. Continue to hit the subscribe, leave a follow, and a five-star review. We appreciate all the love and support you show us every single day. And thank you so much for all of that. Let's continue on something the opposite of what's happening well, from the Ottawa Senators. I just got to very quickly on that point, Steele. I'm <laughs> seeing your tweet here from a little earlier. <laughs> Leafs fans watching the Sens implode. And there's a comment here. Yeah, this I saw the, the comment. I don't know about this, people. Make sure when your team is hot garbage, <laughs> remember who you're talking about. Anyway, Steele, please take it away. That's my bad because this Sens fan base is butthurt for a reason. Hey, yeah. I'm trying to be the bigger person. You know, I, I sent out a couple of tweets, a little sub tweets out there, but trying to be the bigger person while the Toronto Maple Leafs are killing it right now, winning some big, big games, especially that big seven, nothing win against their former GM and Kyle Dubas of the Pittsburgh Penguins now. But let's continue talking about Aiden Hill, the injury, yeah. the guy who really helped them a lot in the postseason, get to the Stanley cup finals mm-hmm. and eventually win it. Aiden Hill, uh, injured again. You know, this one's shocking to me because I'm actually a fantasy owner of Aiden Hill. He, I have him in my keeper league and I didn't even know he was returning. It was so abrupt. Like yeah. I, I was checking daily face off. I was checking the goalie starts. I was looking at him on Yahoo, looking for mm-hmm. any updates, didn't get any notifications. And unfortunately I didn't end up watching the Vegas game either. I couldn't find any video of him actually exiting the game and what happened. But this one sucks a lot because a, I didn't even recognize it. And B, because he's been sitting on my IR collecting dust for seven games already. Didn't hear the news of him coming back. And then you end up hearing about he gets injured again the next day when you go to look at the stats. Or, you know, you see it again on Yahoo with an mm-hmm. update. So this one was very shocking for me. And it sucks to see him go back on the IR for a couple yeah. of days and re, you know rehab this, this new injury. Not like if this had happened coming not coming off an injury would it have been concerning but the fact that he does come back and you know they scored a goal on him and i think it was you know hold on let me just have a look at whatever period it was i think it was the first period it was the first period he only made two saves yeah first period you have you have to think that a guy coming back after injury is obviously going to be very fired up to go in there as in even if it's just like a minor tweak or you took a bad shot in a bad area you're staying in there because you're hungry and you've been out So the fact that it's serious enough that he immediately kind of goes over to the bench. Again, this is speculation. I'm just kind of breaking it down how I see it. Aiden Hill has is the number one goalie for this team. And I know Logan Thompson is a very capable number two, one, a one B perhaps in 15 games this season. They'll steal 10, two and two, Aiden Hill, 1.93 goals against and a 933 before he got hurt. He was easily one of the best goalies in the NHL this season just by pure numbers and by fantasy value, he was right up there. So when he gets hurt and in this fashion, we got to talk about it because again, I think we were, what did we mention this uh, yesterday's episode? We were talking about goalies, Wedgwood, Wedgwood's opportunity right now, week to not even week to week, just day to day while they figure out what's going on with Aiden Hill, Logan Thompson immediately becomes a good option. He's a very solid goaltender. And that's, I think all that really needs to be said, by the way, saw your text. Why don't we save Canucks for tomorrow? (laughs) Because I think they may might deserve a little bit more of a deeper conversation. Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode. We'll talk about the Canucks. Stay tuned for Thursday's episode. New segment. Steele and I are going to be bringing it every Thursday, talking about three trending, are trending hockey players, three of them, start, stash, and drop. It's going to be a good segment. Stay tapped in. But, still, Nathan McKinnon, speaking of tapped in, my goodness me. And I think I'm going to speak <laughs> for myself again. I don't think I've given this guy enough credit because, yeah, we have special names in the NHL. Austin Matthews, Connor McDavid being two of them. Connor Bedard comes in. He gets a lot of love. I'm going to say Nathan McKinnon might get the least overall media attention, coverage or otherwise. I'm not going to say underrated because I believe he's properly rated. 
He is the first star this week. 15 game point streak, eight goals, 19 assists, 27 points dating back to November 20th. I want to talk about Nathan McKinnon, and I want to talk about what your take is on this because I'll hit you with it right now. I actually think his fantasy value and overall talent ceiling is still rising. And if that happens, he's now right in that conversation as next year. He's a top five pick most definitely. Oh, top five pick all the time for me. Like, there's no way. If Nathan yeah. McKinnon slides out of the top five in your fantasy league, yeah. whoever gets him, that's an absolute steal. Mm-hmm. Nathan McKinnon is arguably a top three pick, and it's, it is debatable Agreed. on a few players. But for me, he's a top three pick. And I have Nathan McKinnon times two. I have him in two different fantasy leagues. Must and be he's nice. been absolutely killing it for me. <laughs> Both, uh, I got him both times at number four, which again, it's arguable, but uh, argue, uh, debatable like where you would take him. But at number four, I'll take it every single day. Yep. And I'm, you know, you talking about the heart trophy, is he a dark horse a little bit? Uh, I mean, at plus 1,000, it's absolutely amazing odds for Nathan McKinnon right now in the heart trophy race. Uh, I, I'm very surprised that he's actually below. Uh, mm. Jack Hughes and David Ooh, Pasternak okay, I like uh, it. on the list right now. You know, you have Connor yeah. McDavid at pl- uh, plus 280, which I think those are the uh, lowest odds you're going to get for him because his value is mm. going to continue to go up. Yeah. Nikita Kucherov at plus 400 is very something to consider as well in the way that he's been playing this year. He's mm-hmm. won a Hart Trophy uh, once in his career as well. He's definitely going to be in the consideration. He's got to be in the consideration. Austin yeah. Matthews at plus 900. So those would be my top four right there. McDavid, Kucherov, Matthews, and McKinnon, especially Matthews if he can get 60, which seems like he's uh, well on his way to doing so again. Uh, but you've got to consider Nathan McKinnon, especially at plus 1,000 odds. It's absolutely special, and I think you might be right. You know, you, we, we have spoken a lot about Miko Rantanen being one of those guys mm. that has been always underrated and a little bit overlooked because of Kale McCarr and Nathan McKinnon. But now yeah. when you're considering all the other guys in the NHL and Nathan McKinnon, we have not spoken about mm-hmm. him quite as frequently frequently as we should probably yes. on this show. Uh, he's absolutely Fact. special. And with everything going on, you know, with the, NH- the NHL this season, it- it's hard to determine who the best player in the NHL right uh, in the NHL is right now because Connor Great McDavid point. started off very slow. He's been picking it up, obviously, in the last eight games. Nikita Kucherov on his Mm-hmm. He's paid another hard uh, Ross trophy with what he's doing. Austin Matthews and Nathan Kinney, like I just talked about. So it's very hard to, uh, oh, and Jack Hughes as well, what he's doing for New Jersey. But it's very hard to pick who's number one in the NHL right now. I could throw in a few other names into that mix. How yeah, about Quinn Hughes? How about, JT? How about JT Miller, your boy? And I know he's not, quote unquote, one of the most talented players in the NHL. Not we're the not sexiest talking about name that. to throw out there either. Well, but we're talking about getting yeah. it done. And if you're throwing out, getting it done, and connecting it to Hart Trophy, as in most valuable player to your team, all of those names are in the mix. Nathan McKinnon, 47 points so far this season. 33 apples, 14 goals, 137 shots. He's not afraid to throw the body around. Good Halifax, Nova Scotia boy. Absolutely so much to love about Nathan McKinnon's game. Aside from what he actually just puts up on the board, his skating ability, his edge work, his ability to use his body to protect the puck, and of course, a lethal shot. I would say that aside from Connor McDavid, I throw out a couple of names out there in terms of skating ability. Jack Hughes, Jordan Cairo can really put the skates down. Your boy Sidney Crosby still got it in him. Nathan McKinnon is right up there as some of the best skaters. I know that's not a stat or really something that you might think about. But it matters because take a look at the players changing today's game. It's speed, baby. And that's why we're highlighting these names. I hope we're going to highlight some winning bet steal right around the break. Just had to give some love to Nathan McKinnon. Also, just turned 28 a couple of months ago. So much left in the tank for this kid. It's prime time for Nate Dog Whoa, wait. in Colorado. Uh, 806 points in 740 career games. Yeah. Start paying attention. It's prime time for Colorado, man. Nathan McKinnon, like you said, his value continues to rise every single year, and he is not done whatsoever. We're going to try to not be done with those big-time bets, make some money for the holiday season. But this episode is also brought to you by Game Time. You shouldn't have to worry when you're buying tickets to your next big event. That's why we always use the Game Time app. Game Time is the fastest and easiest way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. With killer last-minute deals on all-in prices, views from your seat, and best price guaranteed. Last-minute ticket flash deals, zone deals, views from your seats before you buy the tickets. 
lowest price guarantee. Game Time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. They're obsessed with finding ways to help you save money on all your events. Game Time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the event and even an hour, an hour after it starts. It's the place to find last minute seats. And the game time guarantee means you'll always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section and row for less, game time will credit you 110% of the difference. Download the game time app, create an account, and use code locked on NHL for $20 off your first purchase. Again, create an account and redeem code locked on NHL for $20 off. Download the game time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Jody Biasi of the Locked On Sabres podcast. Butcher Box has all you need for a tasty, stress-free holiday season with high-quality protein delivered to your door. Sometimes the best gifts are the ones you give yourself, and Butcher Box is here to help you treat yourself to more delicious, wholesome meals. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash NHL and use the code NHL to get free chicken wings for a year. That's three pounds of free-range organic chicken wings free in every order for a year when you sign up at butcherbox.com com slash NHL and use the code NHL. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Continue to hit the subscribe, leave a follow, and a five-star review. We appreciate all that love and support you show us every single week of the month, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock in the morning. We're going to try to return that favor with some money for this holiday season from Big Time Bets. Flip, I'll throw it over to you. Sure. Three picks for Tuesday night. What's your first one? Steel Tuesday night's board. I actually, for some, I always write down how many games it is, but I didn't tonight. Let me check this. Six, nine. Here we go. 11 games. Right now, this is a tough stretch of the schedule for betting. Yep. A lot of players are, you know, they've got the holidays in mind. There's family time coming up. This is obviously, uh, the NHL takes a three to four day pause on the schedule over the holidays. So if you're a team that's a bit beleaguered, if you're a player that's a bit banged up, you can't help but understand that these are going to be some games that they might be a little distracted. So maybe dial back the bet a little bit over these next coming weeks, and then let's dive into it deep mid-January when teams really start that second half push. Anyhow, that's a little bit of a preamble, which is why I'm going right back to one of the things that have been banging out for me, Steele. I think I've hit my last two or three same-game parlays. So if you're okay... I'll ream off all three very, very quickly because I think this is a tough board tonight. Colorado Avalanche are going into the Chicago Blackhawks, and I understand on paper looking at it, you're going to go flip. There's going to be no value here on the money line for the Colorado Avalanche, opening at like minus 250 favorites. So we're hitting the same game parlay. Give me the Colorado Avalanche, 8-2-0 in their last 10 against the Chicago Blackhawks. Excuse me. So I love Colorado on the money line. That's pick number one. I'm going to the over. And I know that it's been an even split, five and five, five over 500 in the last 10 between these two. But actually, if you look at both recent games, just solo, eight, 16 goals combined for the last two games for Colorado and 17 goals combined for the Chicago Blackhawks hit me with the over and We can't show this man all the flowers. Come on here and talk about Nathan McKinnon on a 15-game heater, and I'm not going to go back to the well and parlay all of these together. Nathan McKinnon, anytime assist. That's my lock of the night steal in, you know, I love doing this, in 37 career regular season games for Nathan McKinnon, 37 points, 12 goals, 25 assists. Nathan McKinnon, anytime assist. Give me the over and give me Colorado on the money line. I hope this is yet another same game parlay banger. I absolutely love that same game parlay. Oh, but I'm definitely adding that for a parlay of itself in my own account. So I'm going to keep you. eyes on what you're doing all week long because I absolutely love that take for Tuesday night. I've Appreciate got picks you. from three different from three different games here. Starting off, I'm going to take the Sabres Blue Jackets over six and a half at minus one twenty mm-hmm. on Tuesday night. Seven of their last match, uh, the last matchups between these two teams went well over the number. So I'm taking the over at uh, over six and a half in this matchup at minus 120. That's going to be my lock of the night, actually. My second pick, it, like it. it's a little as of right now, it's Mitch Marner anytime goal plus 195. I want to see what the odds are at for over one and a half points because he's okay. been absolutely killing it lately. But as of right now, it's anytime goal at plus one eight, uh, 195. Four goals, nine points in his four-game point streak currently. Um, 
Yeah, he's Maple good. Leafs. Maple Leafs are going to be playing the New York Rangers. Obviously, the Rangers got their butt whooped last week in that 7 3 yes. loss uh, to the Maple Leafs at home for them. Now they're on the road at Scotiabank Arena. I think it's going to be obviously a really good game between these two clubs. But Mitch Marner has been really, really special of late and I've really loved his game. So I got to show him some credit. Agreed. And then the final pick of the night. Golden Knights money line plus 116 against the Carolina Hurricanes. This is a 50-50 split uh, decision for me. Uh, not not for me, but it's a 50-50 split between these two teams because in their last 10 games, it's been 5-5. Five and five, So li- literally a 50-50 yeah, split. But I'll take Vegas plus money any day of the week, especially yeah. since they've been the way better team, one of the best teams in the NHL. Uh, the Carolina Hurricanes um, just have not been great as of late. I'm going to pull up the so standings and what they've done. They've lost their last two games in overtime, but the Carolina Hurricanes are currently three, four, and three in their last 10 games. And the Vegas Golden Knights are seven, one, and two. So if you're going to give me Golden Knights plus 116 against these Got Hurricanes, to. I'm going to take it every single day of the week. So that are, that is my last pick, lock of the night. It's going to be the Sabres, Blue Jackets over six and a mm. half. Flips, lock of the night. Nathan McKinnon, Nate Dog, anytime assist. Got to Thank do you it. so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. And again, go to Locked On Sports today. They've launched the first ever 24 7 streaming channel on YouTube, covered by local experts of Locked On, plus the national shows covering every single league. So you got to go there to Locked On Sports today on YouTube and subscribe to the first ever. 24 7 streaming channel and thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode of flip and i have a great day out there good luck with all your bets and we shall see you back here again tomorrow go bills Buying tickets to see your favorite NHL team shouldn't be stressful. That's where game time comes in. Game time is the place for last minute ticket deals. Forget planning months in advance. Game time has deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. Get images of your seat before you buy so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. You can buy tickets in a matter of seconds, two taps, and you're set. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use the code Locked on NHL for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, redeem code Locked on NHL for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. My son had a gift with technology. With reliable internet at home through the Internet Essentials Program, the world opened up. He's part of this next generation of young people who feel they can thrive. Through Project Up, Comcast is committing $1 billion to help open doors for the next generation with the connectivity and skills they need to build a future of unlimited possibilities. Hey, Prime members. You can listen to this Locked On podcast ad-free on Amazon Music. Download the Amazon Music app today.